This edition of Up Close with Colin Thompson is sponsored by Lawson and Michelle Williams. In this episode, Harvey and sister Jacqueline Williams from Rough and Ready Racing are in studio. Let's get up close. Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of Up Close with yours truly Colin Thompson. Today, it gives me great joy and pleasure to bring to you all the way from Sacramento, California, the reigning California independent funny car champions, Rough and Ready Racing. Guys, welcome to the show. Uh, thank, thank you, you. thank you. Okay, and of course, uh, joining me um, on behalf of Rough and Ready Racing is Mr. Harvey Williams Jr. and his sister Jacqueline. Guys, it's great to have you. Congratulations, you're, you're fresh off of victory. Uh, must be buzzing on that end. Go ahead, Jackie. You know what? Uh, a lot of people have congratulated us and said, you know, well done, you know, and it's just been amazing. You know, all the support we get from the racing community outside of fans and like, you know, everyone around is saying, you know, hey, good job, guys. Great stuff, great stuff. And obviously, you know, you're the defending champions. This was the first event, the season opener at your own track. You know, tell us, tell us about that, you know, the, the, the build up to that, you know, obviously you want to make a, a solid start to the campaign. You, you want to lay a marker and send a message out to your rivals. But, you know, competing on your own track, does that add any, any pressure? Uh, definitely, it's a lot of pressure, um, especially I think with six years in a row uh, winning this race. Um, and everybody definitely needs us to beat us, you know, and uh, so, we, we go out and, and actually, you know, we work actually a little bit harder trying to keep up and do, keep with everyone and, and do our best. And, and speaking about that racket, um, obviously six wins in a row, phenomenal. And, and congratulations on that. That's, that's no small feat, so congratulations on that. Thank you. And, you know, just, just you know, take us back you know, through that, through the last event, you know, um, obviously, you know, there's a lot of work, a lot of preparation involved. You get at the track and then you got to qualify and, you know, it's, it's, you know, you, you definitely got your work cut out. Walk, walk us through that process. Okay. No, you, you, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, well, it really, well, well, I usually tell people drag racing with these funny cars, it really starts at the shop where we keep the car at. And it's like, we, we take the motor all apart. Um, we end up checking all the rods, the mains, the bearings in the motor. We take the heads to the machine shop. The machine shop does the part. Uh, that's Crackaway, our, one of our sponsors. And then I get the motor and we put it back together. And then, you know, we have to load the trailer up, um, make sure we have everything. And sometimes we forget some little stuff, but it's mostly the most important stuff. So, but then when we get to the track, um, I'm that type of um, owner that we like to get there early. And the reason why we get there early is because when we set up everything and when the, uh, the crew members come in, everybody's relaxed and calm. And then up to that day, you know, uh, Friday we qualify and we see everybody who shows up. Um, we got people who actually drive roughly about 800 miles one way, another 800 miles back home just to get here. And we got some guys like me who's only about 15 minutes away from the racetrack. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it takes a lot of us though. Um, but when we get all that taken care of and we fire the car up and make sure everything we go through and adjust the valves and make sure the tires are right, the transmission is right. The drivers get used to the car again because he hasn't been in, in the whole year. And so let me get all that done. And that first pass for, for the whole weekend, mostly the drivers, the crew members, the people, our fans, everybody's stomachs in knots because we're that nervous, you know. And but after we do that, you know, make that first pass and even the car doesn't do good or it does do good. We at least know where we stand at to make any adjustments. And then that's where the racing really starts. And that's where, like, my, uh, me personally, and the guy named Chad, uh, Devin, Henry, Don, Tony, my driver, 
we all sit down and we talk about what we're, our game plan for the weekend. And how we're gonna the track, how we're gonna tune the motor up, speed it down, and so it takes a lot. So when that's when that's done, we come back after that first pass and we check the whole motor over again. And usually we make one pass on Friday, and then on Saturday, as we do real good, we'll make several passes, up to about like five to six passes. And and going into the final, you came up against your one of your chief rivals, the, the president of the association, yeah. Mayor? Yeah, yeah, we ended up going against James Mayer again in the finals, and it was just one of those ones where we're all standing around we're like, oh well, Kind of go out there and do it again, you know. Rather we win or lose, it doesn't matter. We're, we're all happy with the outcome of like that weekend, you know. And that's something you know a lot of people ask us, you know, like how do you guys strive for like a win every time? And it's like, um, like I told you um, a few weeks ago, it takes a lot of commitment and perseverance because a lot of our guys have been with us, you know, the last seven plus years and. They have put a lot of their time and effort inside this team, and I think that's what like makes it like so special. It's like we, for us, we don't are on the team ourselves. We, we don't argue, we don't yell at each other, something goes wrong, you know. And like Harvey said earlier, we get together, the whole team, especially like our main guys, and we get a game plan together for that weekend of how we're going to go forward, what we're going to do. And I know for us personally, like it makes a huge difference in how we perform as a team. And what, what sort of chassis are you, are you running? What, what, what's the make of, of the car, the body of the car? Oh, the body of the car? Yeah, yeah. What, what's and, the model? Well, what model uh, is it? Uh, the, the body of the car uh, is actually a Mustang, a 65 uh, Fastback Mustang. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually picked that up in um, Pennsylvania about like three years ago. And uh, it's a tube chassis underneath the body and that was made in Michigan and actually in 86, actually in 85. And 86, they used it in a lot of big national events they had here. Uh, and that was called Top Fuel back then. The car was maybe running like 200 and about 50, 240 miles an hour back then. So we have a new body by an old chassis. And uh, a lot of guys, they go up and buy new chassis like uh, every three years or five years. Well, I don't have it like that. <clears throat> But everybody wonder why we keep winning because we keep the same, uh, mostly a lot of the same products and the, the tune up and the motor combination. So we really change it all the time. Well guys, we're just gonna break for a quick moment, but we'll be right back. More from Rough and Ready in a moment. 